Today we're working with our friends at the Tracker Boating Center in beautiful Shakopee, Minnesota. Hey folks, Rob with Two Guys in a Ride, and today I'm out here at the Tracker Boat Center in Shakopee, Minnesota, and I'm extremely excited about this uh, beautiful boat behind us, and I'm going to hand over the mic to Matt and let him introduce himself and tell you about this, uh, this really cool watercraft. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, I'm Matt here at Tractor Boating Center in Shakopee, and I'm glad you are also extremely excited because I'm, I'm just, I, I, I can't be more enthusiastic about this, and, and hopefully you guys will be too when we're done talking about it. So Sun Tracker is certainly a brand that customers are familiar with, um, and pontoons are, are the largest segment of the boating world right now, over half of the business, um, and they've gotten bigger and fancier and more expensive, and I think this is kind of a little bit pushing back against that trend. Not everybody needs a 25 or a 30 foot pontoon and not everybody needs to spend $100,000. Um, people are buying a pontoon so they can get on the water in a nice, stable, roomy uh, craft that they can they can share an experience with their friends and their family. And this boat still delivers all that stuff. So it's called the, the Bass Buggy 16 Deluxe. Um, it is our newest uh, eight foot wide pontoon. So we've made 16 footers in the past, but not a full size 16 footer. They've been shrunk down really for a more unique situation where this boat's designed to, to fit the masses. Um, it's easy enough that you can trailer it. So we're showing it with the trailer here today. In fact, we're showing it with a few options that I thought uh, viewers would like to learn about. Not necessarily everybody's gonna buy them, um, but I think it's important to know what sort of things you can get. Um, this boat is 16 foot overall. Uh, and that's deck length is how we're measuring it. So we, we feel that's the, the number people care about is how much room do they have. If you actually wanna know storage length, it is going to be bigger than that um, because the motor sticks out the back and we have an extended transom. And, and we'll talk about those things when we get there. Um, the neatest thing about this boat is we're, we're trying to bring it down to a price point that's super, super aggressive. The, the base boat's 10,995 plus freight and prep. Um, but we didn't want to lose the, the thing that was bringing so much value in SunTracker, and that's the warranty. Um, from here down, the deck, the substructure, the framing, the tubes, that's lifetime. Um, that, and that's not a depreciating warranty. We pay some, you pay some. It's true lifetime. As long as you own the boat, we cover it 100% against manufacturer defects. And from here up is where I think we really shine. Um, most manufacturers uh, traditionally have offered a one, three, or five year warranty. And we're, we're 10 years, 100% um, parts and labor, whether a light bulb goes out, whether a stitch comes loose in the seat. I mean, really, for a, for a very nice price, you're still getting all the same value that you would if you were buying a, a $20,000, $40,000 pontoon. So let's talk about how we're able to deliver on this pontoon. We really wanted to build this boat the same way that we're building the more expensive boats from a construction standpoint, because if we're going to offer that warranty, we have to stand behind it. Uh, the tubes are still a 24-inch diameter tube. Our brackets here that attach the tube to the deck are still the oversized M brackets. You're not seeing us save some money by going to the small little brackets. And if you look underneath the front of the boat, you're gonna see we still do the one thing that makes Sun Tracker unique, and we have a fully welded boxed in bow. I mean, that's the place that's most likely to take impact, whether you're coming up to a dock or hitting the trailer. Nobody else is doing that, and, and we felt it was too important of a feature to, to strip down out of this boat. Um, so from the front to the back down, there really isn't much we're doing different at all. In fact, I think there's something you're gonna be interested in seeing in the back that, that comes directly from the big pontoons. 
Um, this extended motor pod does a couple of things for us. So a lot of companies, a lot of pontoons have the motor direct, bolted directly to the back. By putting that center of gravity back a little bit more, it allows us to get the nose up, and that helps in a couple of places. Number one, you have a pile of people on the boat, you're less likely to take a wave over the bow. Um, secondly, you're not plowing through the water so much, so they're just a little more efficient, you get a little bit more performance by getting that nose up. You know, we generate some leverage by putting the motor back here. The other thing that this motor pod does is, it actually is transferring that energy. If you look, it's an oversized motor pod, and it's really transferring the weight and the, the, the energy from the motor across almost a third of the pontoon here. So. Rest assured, construction is every bit as good as it would be in some of the more expensive pontoons. Um, this particular motor is not the standard motor, so the base motor is going to be a 20 horse uh, Mercury engine. Um, this particular boat we brought in with the optional 50, and that's a $1,400 upgrade that I think a lot of customers would be interested in getting. Um, if we come to the back of the boat, You'll see we still offer a full size ladder. Uh, I really like the fact that you can swim up to this ladder and even, even as I'm floating there, my foot's just right at the bottom one. Everybody's experienced that situation where you're trying to get your foot up to your ear and, and pull yourself up out of the lake. That's just not the case. So whether it's a, a young kid or maybe somebody that's been on the earth a little bit longer, they should be able to get in this ladder pretty easily. Um, so with that being said, why don't we walk up the ladder and let's look at what the inside offers. All right, so the interior of the boat, the first thing you're probably gonna notice is actually the floor. We've moved away from carpet in most of the pontoons, and this is a woven material. A, a couple of nice things about, there is a padding beneath it, so it still feels nice on, nice on your feet, and it's non-skid, but it's also very easy to clean. In fact, before we shot this video, I just took a broom to it, and in about two minutes, we had the interior of this boat cleaned up. Um, we kind of do the same approach with the, the seats. We use a material that's um, not porous, it's easy to wipe down. We, we feel people are buying a boat to enjoy it, not to clean it, and we wanted to make it as easy to maintain this boat as possible. Um, especially since this is a fish cruise combo. So we talked about a versatile boat. We, we felt it was important to offer um, the nice seating for all the, the people on the cruise, but also a couple of fishing chairs and a live well if you want to utilize this as a fishing boat. So. All these boats come standard with a built-in aerated live well. They come standard with um, some of the rod holders. You're seeing them on both sides here, where a fishing rod will just clip in, plus some tool holders there. Um, on the front, there's a cup holder and, and a couple more rod holders. So you can just sit your rod in there and hang it out the front, whether you're back trolling with the boat or bobber fishing or the kids are just casting out, playing around, having fun. Um, these seats do swivel um, and they are removable. So if you want uh, to open it up as maybe a layout area, I know a lot of people will throw uh, beach towels down in the front and they just like to have that space. Um, the boat's rated for seven people. So I think pretty comfortably with the driver and three to four people on the bench and a couple people up here, you're, you're gonna be at that capacity reasonably, right? So a lot of times a capacity says one thing, but if there's is there actually adequate seating? And I think this boat um, achieves that. Um, speaking of space, this may seem like a minor deal, but this gate is actually large enough to accommodate a wheelchair. So if, if you have somebody that's handicapped in your family um, or elderly and in a wheelchair, super simple to remove one of those seats, uh, roll them onto the pontoon, and they can go out and enjoy the water too. It's just so much easier than getting someone in and out of a, a traditional boat. Um, you notice probably that I lifted on this a little bit. So this is a dual latching system. That's a safety feature for the kids. So not only does it latch there, but there's also another latch here. And, and that makes it a little more difficult for the two and three year olds to get out, but also takes some of the rattle out of these gates. This is the number one sound problem that we have in pontoons is gate rattle. And by adding that secondary latch, we've eliminated that. And I think people appreciate having a quieter boat when they're out doing the late cruise. Back at the helm, let's talk about the, the second package that this boat has. The Sun Tracker calls it their select package. And you get three items with the select package. You get this uh, windshield. You get a Bluetooth stereo with a couple of speakers. And then you get the Bimini top. So that package is $995. And again, 
I don't think everybody's going to buy it, but it's a pretty nice value. A Bimini alone would sell for more than that. And so the way I look at it is you're getting a stereo and a windscreen essentially for free for that kind of money. Um, the driver's console is pretty simple and clean. It only has a single gauge. It's just a, a tack. Um, most people buying this boat aren't going to be concerned with speed because you're getting it either with a 20 or a 50 horse. So I don't think it really matters to have a speedometer. And with an outboard, you have a full alarm system that comes with the harness. So you don't really need a gauge to tell you any of that information either. Um, you do have a nice tap light here though. And you do have some interior lights in the... Um, Bimini top as well as your navigation lights for the evening. So uh, bucket seat for the driver, same one we put in some of the, the bigger boats there and that swivels and that slides as well. And then finally in the council you have a few more cup holders. You'll see there's a couple down below and there's a cup holder up top here too. The passenger seating you're going to find is your main source of storage in this boat. Um, one nice thing is Sun Tracker does a fully lined storage container. So a lot of boats, this would be open to the floor beneath. And we felt it was important to still box this in to help keep stuff dry. And that's also why you see this channel right here. So that helps keep some of the rain out and kind of hidden. There's actually a spot there where it directs that water out of the, out of the storage and, and overboard of the boat. So the hope is you're going to be able to keep your gear, your, your valuables a little bit drier there. And then there's some additional storage in the rear seat here. And that's also where we hide the battery. I think this boat overall um, really is designed to be versatile and to offer the good value to the consumer. It, it isn't our fanciest model, but hopefully you can understand, Rob, a little bit why we're so excited and we think it's gonna be a good boat for a lot of our customers. So one last item, uh, as excited as we are about this boat, I think consumers are going to be too. Uh, we have yet to be able to get a stock boat just to show. Um, we're fortunate enough that we have a few sold boats coming through that we're able to, to show you guys here today. Um, Sun Tracker's made a big commitment to building these, this boat. They're building over 20 of them a day, but my suspicion is sales will outpace availability this year. So I would encourage you to call the dealership before you go in to look at, just to make sure they have one available. And the sooner you can order one, the more likely it is that you'll be able to get one for this boating season. Okay, so just to wrap it up real quick here, you know, I've got to ask you one more question. You, you showed us a lot of the, uh, how, how well it's built, how you told us about how nicely it's, it's warrantied and everything, but you're telling me it's got a base list price of 10995 with the motor, the 20 horse, and then you, you showed us, you know, there's some upgrades on this one. How? How are they doing it at that price? Yeah, I'm glad you asked that, Rob. So I think that's probably the number one question we're going to get for a lot of consumers is, is I, don't, I don't get it. I don't see what I'm missing, right? right. And, and I think the secret, quite honestly, is just in, in our buying power and our volume as a company. So um, White River Marine Group, who's the parent company for this, owns over 12 different boat brands. And there's a lot of things that we make. But there's a lot of things we don't make too, right? Those LED lights, right. this cleat right here, the motor that hangs on the back, right. um, the canvas for the Bimini top. Okay. You know, we're not making those things, but we're buying hundreds of thousands of them as right. opposed to two, three, four, five thousand, like a lot of manufacturers are doing. And that and that really gives us um, good leverage and good yeah. buying power. With leverage both in the warranty. We can ask them to give us a little bit longer warranty right. on some of their products, right? Right. right? And in the pricing. And, and in an entry-level pontoon, um, we feel this is a, a gateway boat, is what we call it. Gets right. people right. into the right. Right. into the business. Well, you know, one of the things I'm impressed about, this is an entry level, and there's no bones about it. It's, an, it's, it's a price point, but you folks can tell when something is built to a price point or it's built to a good price. And that, that subtle difference is uh, that if it's built to a price point, you can see in all the little details where they've cut corners. And I don't see that here. That's what I'm, I'm still trying to rationalize it in my head that this thing starts at 10995 because you've got to see this in person and good luck getting to your tracker boat center to see this in person the way they're selling. But when you do, uh, you'll, you'll really be amazed at how nicely built this is for that price. 
Well, I appreciate you saying that. We've worked very hard to offer a good value to, to customers, and, and hopefully you're not the only one that sees that value there. Well, Matt, thank you very much again for working with us today. Folks, come down and take a look at this boat. Uh, you're absolutely going to love it.